What's the body standing in the blue corner? He's fighting 24 years of age. He's down to 64 inches tall. We're going to 76 point eight kilograms. He's already got three wins, one loss, no draws. All three wins by one submission. Fighting out of ASW. About 12 of the evening here, we've got Colin Goodfellow in the grey shorts and we've got Tom Weedle from Blackburn Predators in the blue. 6-2 and 6-4, two big tall lads. I guess We're neither of them are used to fighting somebody of a similar height, similar range. Yeah, but the reach feels uh, very different with uh, someone that's actually the same height as you for once when you're uh, of that height. Yeah, certainly. And it's uh, Goodfellow who's gone for the uh, takedown, first of all. He's got a body clinch. Needs to get that head in a better position. It's not a strong position. He needs to try and get it to the other side of, the, of uh, Wignall's jaw. Get it right in the pocket and create some pressure that way. Nice little chopping knee. He's got decent pressure here w w uh, where he's standing. Um, underhooks, bolt, uh, twist from uh, Mr. Wignall there. Yeah, he's got uh, Cam Atakuru in his, uh, his corner. So Cam, one of, the, uh, one of the best wrestlers around in MMA. So I'm sure he's, uh, he's got some wrestling skills. Nice little break off back to the striking. Beautiful round kick. Lovely chopping tie kick. That. And again, lots of little, lots of pivot in the hips. And again, it's lovely that it's right on the shin, right on the thigh. A, a, you know, just a little pivot at the hips to drive it in. Yeah, Callum was just walking through them. It doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. He's just, uh, he's keeping the momentum going. He's going for another takedown here. Both underhooks. Um, Tom getting the right underhook to um, try and prevent the takedown here. Yeah, you can see the red marks on uh, Goodfellow's uh, thigh, so. Something was landing, something was uh, marking him up. There's some front stomps here from, from Callum to, uh, to his opponent, Tom. It's like and 1995 all over again. <laughs> He's got his head in a much better position this time, driving that head into the uh, jaw of Wignall. Wignall's managed to reverse this back against the cage. He's dropping for that single leg. Yeah, Callum stepped back there and uh, took the whizzer um, to Tom's right arm. Um, which enables Tom to reverse and put Callum's back against the cage. Um, he's pushing, he's pushing the head down perfectly here when he's going for a signal, uh, signal, uh, single. Sorry. Yeah, he's doing a good job of defending this. And the problem is when this, this, the defence works, you slowly get weaker. You end up getting driven to the ground. Nice knee. Yeah, knee followed by a one-two. Yeah, good fellow so far, just getting the edge in this fight. Certainly not dominating yet, but you know, if you were to. Go, if you were a judge, you'd probably see it in his favour. Yeah, both through uh, leg kick at the same time, then course, shin on shin. Tom shooting in for a double over against the cage. Trying to cross his anti which he's got. That's Callum shooting for the double low, but close. I mean, he had a 50-50 chance. <laughs> that takedown could be really important, actually. You know, so late in the round, if, uh, if the judges are feeling, oh, I'm not sure who to go to, that takedown could just sway it over to Goodfellow's side. It was an even first round in a way, but I think Callum might have well, probably have taken that round. He got to take it on towards the end. He controlled uh, the cage a lot more uh, than Tom. Um, I, I would probably give the, the first round to Callum there. So I think outside of the three, four leg kicks, the rest of the round was was probably good fellow side. I mean, those leg kicks were good leg kicks, but apart from that, I don't think there was a lot else. Yeah, Callum will come phase with them. Judges having to do some work yet again. That's two rounds all night so far. They've had to, <laughs> had to judge. Yeah, two complete their rounds. That's, we're now 12 fight. That's crazy. High percentage of uh, finishes here tonight. Yep. Another round kick in there. Problem yep. with the round kick is it's a weapon of attrition. It's not something that you're usually going to finish a fight with right there and then. It's something that's going to have 
an effect later on in the fight. Good fellow throwing a good combination of shots. Yeah, unless you've got kicks like uh, Pat HD Barry, which finishes people standing, uh, yeah. then I think it's just going to be a to wear your opponent down. Now, both of these guys have got wins by submissions. That's all they've got. So the takedown could be really important. And that takedown goes to Wignall. He's got the top position now. Yeah, he shot him perfectly, got his hand cast together and was relentless until he got the takedown. Question is, what can he do with it? And so far, he's just holding on for grim life. He needs to get to a more dominating position, perhaps start throwing some shots. Nice yeah. little slice for the knee. He can pass guard from there. With the position, I think Callum needs to push on the uh, right-hand side of Tom's head, push him, um, look to stand back up, get to his knee, stand back up, uh, or obviously switch it. Yeah, nice knee slicer. Sees Wignall come through to side control position. He's given uh, Goodfellow a little space. Goodfellow trying to work his way up. He's got the underhook. He should just pull that, pull that arm and wrench him down, back down to the ground. He swaps to the leg. Oh, Somebody's bleeding. bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> Same time we're seeing that then. And I think it more looks like it's Tom's on the right hand side. It doesn't look like it's coming from Callum at the minute. I think you're right. I can't see any cuts coming from Callum, so I think that's probably Wignall. It could be nosebleed or it could be a cut somewhere on the right hand side. Callum was thrown at a high percentage of shots during standing, so one of them could have caught and cut him on the so way down. I can't down. see any nosebleed, so I'm suspecting there's a cut somewhere. Callum trying with the, the up kicks here. A four, he landed in a triangle there, Tom. Um, but he's gone straight into side control. Yeah, it's a good position to work from. Whether there's enough time on the round, I don't know. But he's got to be doing something here from this position, especially if he is cut. I still can't see whether it's a cut or his nose. I can't see any blood beneath his nose, so it, it looks like it could be a cut somewhere. Yeah, it looks like it. From the hand position of Tom, what Tom's just done here, it looks like he may attempt a north-south drop, but he's just staying there and throwing knees at the minute. Yeah, he's got to clear that arm, though, if he's going to go for that. Very difficult to get a north-south choke with the arm in. If it was Guy, he could go for a, like, some kind of choke from there, Guy choke, but it's not, so I'll shut up. Tom is giving Callum a lot of space. Trying, um, oh, that blood is coming from his ear. Whoa. I don't know whether that's a cut in the ear oh, oh, oh. or to the ear, but I hope it's not coming out of the ear. Ten seconds here. We might see a round three here, Aaron. I think we will do. I think, uh, and I, I think it's probably a round apiece. I, I'd have to give that a round apiece, which makes this really interesting going to the third round. Yeah, I think the referee is going to look at the... Uh... Yeah, it's where, it, I mean, hopefully it's just a cut on the air, on the flesh of the air, something like that. Yeah, I'd be it... very worried if it was coming out of the air. Yeah, um, yeah, hopefully it's nothing major. The bout continues. It's exciting right now. We're getting a, a, our first third round of the night. Uh, it's interesting, one man a piece, I totally agree with you here, I think the judges will as well. What would you say, what, what, after winning the first round but for, in our eyes, uh, what, what would Cam be telling Callum right now? I think he would be say, probably saying, look, you have two options, either you go back to what you did in the first round, which is use your striking, get impressed against the cage, or you need to get the takedown and get in top position. Uh, for Wignall, it's easy, do what you've just done. Yeah. Get the takedown, get on top. Don't worry about trying to finish this fight, stay in control, make sure you win the round. Yeah. It's a big fight for both of these guys, really, because, you know, they're both up-and-coming fighters. Three and one here from uh, Goodfellow. A loss doesn't look good. A three and two record, it starts to look a bit 50-50. Meanwhile, Tom Wignall, he's at that 50-50 point. That one win makes a big difference. All of a sudden, two and one record, much better. Referee just taking a little bit of time just to look at that ear, I think. Going to put some Vaseline in there, try and protect it. Fighter safety here with his paramount, um, trying to stop the blood, make sure it doesn't get in any uh, any more danger. Yeah, he must be comfortable with it though. I mean, there's no blood now, is there? So you know, I, it looks as though it was some just uh, cut to the flesh of the ear, something like that. Here we go, third and final round. Both fighters looking relatively fresh as well. Fitness doesn't seem to be an issue at all. And what one's first again from Mr. Wignall? Uh, I, I like uh, I like kick. I think he he'd be wise to use that, use it to, you know, perhaps set up the takedown. And good fellow reaching for those kicks now when he throws them. Good body kick there from Callum. 
Yeah. I think a faint right kick, throw the right hand, it'll find its mark on Goodfellow's chin, no problem. Yeah, his left hand is dropping there, uh, Tom's shot in again. Yeah, poor shoot that though, really. He's managed to get to uh, a single, but he did a much better shoot in the, in the uh, second round when he went for that double. Yeah, Callum's defending well here. He's got an overhook on the left arm and an underhook on, his, on, sorry, on Tom's right arm and he's got a, a right underhook on uh, Tom's left arm. Yeah, he's got that uh, 50%, uh, 50%, 100% are now. Still gets a takedown, Tom, there. Let's see what um, Callum could do from his back here. Yeah, well, he's in the guard, so it's the, if you're going to be on your back, you, you and I both know that's the place you want to be on your back. Yeah, he's, he's got he's got guard there. Um, he, he trains a lot with Ben Royal and, and Jake Corrigan, who are a, a, a really high-level yeah. grapplers. Um, so he should have a few manoeuvres from there. Especially with legs like that. People with long legs like that, they can have lethal guards. Yes. He needs to do more here. It's the third round. It's, it's a three-minute round. We're only halfway through that at the minute. Yeah, this is, you know, if you're not attacking when you're on your back and you've got guard, then uh, you're just giving that fight away because the judges will look at this, they'll look at the takedown, they'll look at the Tom Wignall on top trying to pass guard. It'll all go in his favour. Yeah. Cole doesn't look like he's doing much there. He's throwing a, a few hammer fists. Um, he lost his guy. He might try and recover it, it looks like. Um, Tom does not look in any sort of danger at the minute. He's trying to knee slide to, to side control. Yeah, he almost passed then. He gave it up almost. and went back. I think he could have finished that pass with a little bit of uh, a little bit more tenacity to it. Good fellows corner lot looking too happy. They're barking out instructions. Nice pass. That's that pass finished. Callum should look to stand from here. Um, try and create more space. Try and stand up. Yeah, get your, get your back to the cage, use the cage to help you up. Wignall keeping good control, though. Actually, he has got the space now to stand up, but he's just... Might go for a guillotine here. Yeah. If Goodfellow doesn't start doing something, he'll have given this round away. It'll be one of those rounds that he looks back at the video and he kicks himself over. Ten seconds left. I think there's very little he can do here. We'd have to be lucky to catch a submission. And I think that's going to be the telling round. I think... Uh, I think it'll be two rounds to one. I agree. We've got to our first decision.